Good morning guys, we are here in Grand Tetons. We spent the last couple of days kind of chilling. We drove up from Bryce Canyon the first day, which was about eight hours. Spent the night checking out Jackson Hole, which was a pretty cool place to check out. Had some fun bars to go to. Then we spent yesterday kind of getting prepped up for this big hike we're doing today. And also spending some time at this super cool campsite that we have here. It's really our own private spot. We have a fire pit right here. We got the DJ deck set up, which was insane. And we even have a river right behind us that we got our showers in. So we're doing the ultimate freedom camping right now and we're actually changing things up. We're packing our bags up right now to go do a nine mile hike up into the mountains. We're bringing an eight person tent and we're gonna be staying there overnight. My boy Tommy right here, he's got the bear mace. So if we run into any encounters, he's gonna be the guy that saves us. But let's go ahead and see what we have inside, talk to some of the team and uh, see where we're at. We got Chef Cal here hooking it up with those PB and J's getting ready for the hike. Yes sir, yes sir. Uh, on today's menu, we have PB and J's getting it ready for the group. We got a long hike ahead of us, roughly around eight hours. Um, we will be staying the night in the Grand Tetons. So we gotta make sure that our minds and our bodies are staying on track to fully slay these, these trails. So I got some PB and J's on deck for the group. You know, these, these are oh, just bad. Yeah. You gotta get these. Bro. Make them look good, yeah, make, make them look, look good. good. Mm hmm, that my shit. Oh, the bar's gonna be like this. All right, Dylan, what are you carrying? You got the tent loaded up? I got the tent loaded up. I got a couple other essentials. I got duct tape, I got the speaker. I got a cool shirt that's gonna match the <laughs> mountains today. Hopefully we stay rain free. Director of maintenance is locked and loaded. All right, let's do this. Morgan, uh, what's I got, in the bag? I got some blankets, I got bug spray, first aid kit, ibuprofen, a little pillow, water. All Water's the essential. All the good stuff. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little vodka in there, a couple of Yeah, maybe vodka. Let's go. I, I definitely got some white claws in there, that's Ooh, for sure. Oh, <laughs> she knows what to pack. Tina, what are you putting in the bag? Well, this is the bear canister with all of our food essentials. Oh, yeah. In my personal backpack, I have clothes, two hammocks, vodka, Ooh. and a sleeping bag. Oh, all the essentials. There we go. Ricky Ranger, what do we got in that bag? Oh, we got an official Ozark Trail sleeping bag here, rated five out of five for overnight camping. Uh, I got the big bag here, Osprey, definitely an awesome brand for out here. Um, definitely gonna want to layer up. Got a nice light jacket, some Patagonia mid layers, and then a little fleece here in case it gets really cold. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll throw a canister in there, call it a day. All right, Tommy, what do you got in the bag, bro? Yo, guys. All that epic footage we just took in the last few we uh, weeks and everything that we're gonna take is in that bag. I got the whole camera gear. I got everything in there, guys. Last but not least, what I've got in my bag, got a drone, got a GoPro, got an Osmo, got this Canon we're on right now. Also, I have two jackets. Absolutely do not have a sleeping bag because I made the wrong decision and didn't pick one up. So I'm gonna be very cold, hoping that my friends will give me a spot right in the middle of the tent so I can get some of that body heat. But we'll see you guys. But until then, we're about to get everything else packed up. We'll see you once we're on the road heading towards the trail. Let's go. Squad's loaded up, seven seater car with so many bags. There's absolutely not enough room for all of us. A little cramped in here, but we only have a 30 minute drive till we get to the trailhead and then it starts. It's probably like 75 degrees out, so it's gonna be a pretty warm hike while the uh, sun's still beating down, but we're all super excited to get out on that trail. So we'll see you once we get there. Guys, we just made it here to Granite Canyon Trailhead. Ranger Rick's gonna tell us all about it. We're gonna be heading up to Phelps Lake first. It's about a couple mile trail right up through, and that takes you to Death Canyon. Death Canyon is where we got our official backcountry permit. Um, it's a good, like Candy said, about eight to nine mile hike up, but make sure you reserve ahead of time because these fill up quick, sometimes six to eight months in advance. So make sure you stop at the ranger station, get your pass online, 
um, or in person, and that way you can get a good spot up there in the back country. Let's go. Yeah. You ready, squad? Yeah. We're about half a mile into the hike. One piece of advice that comes from Dirty Deeds is grab yourself a hiking stick, bring some duct tape, you can make your own homemade one. Might need a small little pocket knife too to take off the branches, but that will help you with the elevation once you get up there. It's really gonna take a little bit of weight off your calves, legs, whole body, but definitely get yourself a walking stick like Ranger Rick has right here. Another good tip, We're good. get it ready. The thumb, the thumb holes in them like this, get a nice little grip to it. All right guys, we are one mile in and it's taken us about 25 minutes with just a couple stops here. We actually all just bet on what our average pace will be between the six and 12 miles, however many it ends up being. And the guesses are, my guess is 30 minutes per mile. Tina's guess is 37 minutes a mile. Morgan is 32.6. Moreland is 34. Tommy is 31. Dylan is 43 and Cal is 47. And this takes into account all the stops we need to do for uh, footage, all the stops we need for water, basically any time. This is the total time to get to our final destination and what it'll average across all of it. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Water. 1.6 miles in, you're going to reach a split in the road. You can either go that way or if you're doing our hike, you'll take a right right here at the split. So that's gonna continue on towards our journey. All right, we're 2.1 miles in, which has been about 48 minutes. So just under 24 minutes per mile. My guess is we're getting closer to the larger amount of incline, which I think will really slow us down, especially once we start getting to these viewpoints where the photos are gonna be necessary. So I'm still pretty confident in my guess of 30 minutes a mile, but we shall see. All right, we're three miles in. Terrain is starting to get slightly more hilly, getting some elevation since. We're running about 23.3 minutes per mile, so everyone's guesses are still pretty far off. But with 2,200 feet of elevation we're going, I think that's gonna change real soon. We just completed mile number four. We're at just about 23.5 minutes per mile, so we're making pretty good timing. Still haven't hit too much incline, just a little bit so far, but not as much as I would have expected by now. So we're not too far away from seeing the views from the lake, so I think that's when the scenery is going to uh, start slowing us down a little bit more when we have some amazing views. Right now we've had some beautiful views here in the wilderness. Not too many spottings of any wildlife just yet, but we are still pretty early into the hike, so we will keep a close eye out for it. Five miles down and we finally have gotten the lake reveal. So that's added a pretty awesome effect to the hike where we can stop, get some great footy, get some great photos, and uh, still, not too many inclines yet. I'm thinking the trail's very much moderate in terms of its incline, or there's going to be a point where we just go straight up. Because five miles in, only three more to go. I guess what's to come, but luckily we're gonna be stopping for some PB and Danks made by Kale Zonin, so super pumped up for that. Need those carbs. We're burning some energy right now. And get some agua flowing, we'll be good to go. We'll see you at the lunch spot. You gotta come back up this trail. Tommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those things are really, kind of look weird. These things look
five and a half miles in and we found an amazing spot to calzone and pb and j it right here on the water so we're gonna chow down here for about an hour eat these things maybe get a banana in there too hang out catch some rays and then keep going another three miles left to do it right after i finished up this video update we turned around and noticed there was a huge moose behind us it was really majestic to see one out in the wild. Just keep in mind, you need to keep a distance from them because especially if they're near their young, they will charge and attack. They're really dangerous when it comes to that. So keep your distance. But yeah, it was awesome. I could not believe how big this moose was. And we did catch him using nature's bathroom, by the way, while grabbing some water. So that was awesome. We just finished up a nice PB and J break, about 45 minutes hanging out there. Saw a moose that almost came after us, but it was pretty exotic to see him out in nature walking through the lake and uh, quite a quite a feeling of being in nature when you get to experience the wildlife. So, But I must say though, moose are one of the most dangerous animals in North America, so don't get too close if you're out here. They look friendly, they look majestic, but they'll come after you if they feel that uh, you're in their space. So keep that distance, but make sure to Watch for them, because it's pretty amazing. Now, we got a few more miles. We're starting to really get into the scenic areas now. We got a massive waterfall we're coming up on that I can just feel everyone super pumped up to uh, get up there and see it. So, Woo! we'll see you once we get closer. All right, things are really spicing up. Look at these cliffs behind me. I cannot believe it. So it seems like about six and a half miles in is really when the scenery starts to pick up. So where we just entered that is so stunning right now is right here in Death Canyon. So we're right at the beginning of it. We have to go another couple of miles until we get to our camping site. So I'm super excited. This is one of the highlights of the trail hike being here in Death Canyon. And already these views are literally mind blowing. It's hard to even like breathe because you're looking up and you're like wow looking up at like the magnificent views of towering rock formations the pine trees up in the air you never know at any corner you might run into a moose or a bear so it's exhilarating <laughs> all right guys we just hit the seven mile marker and we are actually doing 30.4 minutes per mile. So since we did that stop at the beach, that really brought up the time because we hung out there for probably like 45 minutes to an hour. So I think my guess is the closest to being right. So we'll see. We'll see who's closest. We only have a couple more miles to go. You know we're starting to get some serious elevation. We got powder behind us. But the funny part is, is it still feels like it's 70 degrees out. So this snow must have just been here for so long that it hasn't fully melted yet. But it's pretty sweet to see this in the middle of the summer. We just hit the eight mile marker and we are walking 31 minutes and 30 seconds per mile at the moment. Looks like Morgan's now the closest. Still a little bit more to go. Just took that nine mile step and we are hitting the switchbacks pretty hard now. Calzoni, what are you thinking? How are you feeling? It's starting to become beautiful, way beautiful views. Um, strict, strictly uphill. You gotta watch and be careful with where you're stepping. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll kick it off back to, uh, back to you, Chet. All right, now we're going into the snow. This is the real test.
10 miles in, we're at the final countdown, the final mile, mile and a half, something like that. We're here just in time for golden hour. These views are unbelievable. They just keep getting better and better, catching the light, catching the mountain shining like this. It is unbelievable. We'll show you right when we get up there because we're almost there. We're gonna be deciding on our campsite pretty soon. Right at the 10 mile marker, we just found another moose. It's right back there. All right, 11 miles. How's everyone feeling? Great, great, ready for Death Canyon. Yeah, ready? Ready. All right, all right, let's keep it going. So now that we're up here, we can start looking out for whatever campsite we want to stay at. Yep. You'll look for these guys right here, you see that? It'll say campsite, and if it's free, take it over. We're probably gonna hike a little bit further though because the views aren't perfect here, they're all right. But uh, we want like a river or something like that. Beggars can't be choosers, but hey, we're gonna see what we can find. We have finally arrived after 11.6 miles, and guess who won? It was Mr. Tommy Schuster, aka Tommy Two Tone. He guessed 31 minutes per mile, and it was 31.03 minutes per mile. So, pretty good guess. And uh, we're lucky to have made it here with still enough daylight where we can pitch the tent. I was a bit concerned that we were gonna make it after dark and we were gonna have to scramble with some cell phone lights, but check out the campsite. It's a pretty sick spot. We have rock cliffs where we can hang out on. We have a nice flat area to put the tent and it's gonna be a really beautiful place to wake up to. I can just tell by where the sun's going to rise from. It'll shine right through the pine tree, so I'm super excited to see that. And voila, the tent is up just in time before the sun sets, and it is a crib. Oh hey, yeah. Our crib. Yeah, there the crib, go. MTV Cribs. This is a rad properties in the mountain. All right, guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night, put the camera away, because it's time to eat either a PB&J or a ham and cheese, something great, and then enjoy these views before the sun sets. So we'll see you in the AM. Good morning guys, just woke up. It is 7 a.m. after a nice long, very, very cold sleep in the tent. I am awake, but I was freezing the whole night because I didn't bring a sleeping bag, so that was a huge mistake on my part. I just had a blanket and I am still freezing. I'm loaded up with a jacket, a vest, two pairs of socks on, gloves, bandana over my head, and under blankets and I was still freezing. But the funny part is, just woke up here and I was so excited to put my shoes on because my feet have been so cold all night. I come out and my shoe's been mauled by a bear. <laughs> and then we thought that was the worst of it. And then Cal's backpack was mauled by a bear. You want to know why? Because there's protein bars in there. Oh, the, the, the casualties include shoes, oh, backpacks, and who knows what else is in there. <laughs> Should have trusted Ranger Rick. He said, put it all in there. Put it all in there. Just went over to see if I could get any of the footage off my GoPro, but it looks like whatever that was did not want to be recorded. So it ripped up all the different sides of my GoPro too. So now we know no food in the tent, near the tent, and food should only be in the bear canister. These guys right here, when the rangers tell you, you gotta do it. So otherwise, they'll go mauling through all your stuff, rip your GoPro, your shoes, your backpacks, whatever else is in the way of them getting the food. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna enjoy the nice sunrise here and uh, that's it for Grand Tetons. Definitely come and check this place out. It is stunning at all times of the day, evenings, mornings, whenever it is. It's a different view, just like right now with the sun creeping right in. It's 
great. That wraps up this video today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to check out the next video after this one in the series where we're going to be exploring parts of Yellowstone National Park, one of the most famous national parks in the United States. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.